Today is World Teachers Day and we are excited at the St. George's Primary School. We are excited because we have an initiative this year. We've decided that we're going to allow our parents to walk in our shoes. So today, we have over 40 parents who have signed up at different times to come into their child's classroom to teach a lesson. So they are excited as well. The students are excited to have their parents come in. We, we just thought that this time around, it was necessary to have the parents to just get a feel of what happens in the classroom. Um, they come, they drop off their children, things happen, and they're not always certain as to what happened. And sometimes we get a sense that maybe teaching is a relatively easy job. But we know that it's not an easy job. Some parents already know, but we wanted them to feel what was happening. So we're excited. What's the heart of operation? What we do first? You know, it's one of the so no, totally, what's the order? So the normal one is bracket, bracket, then exponents, exponents, multiplication, take away seven. Now I want you to write the problem on your paper. We are going to be giving the parents certificates of participation. We are also going to be having the testimonials to see what the experiences were like in the classroom. So it's an exciting day for us as we celebrate World Teachers Day 2022. My name is Rhonda Hutch Smith. I'm a lawyer by training, um, but I work at the BVI Financial Services Commission in financial literacy with Money Matters BVI. Um, today I took um, one hour with the grade three um, Miss, Mrs. Shepherd's class at St. George's um, Primary School and I think it was an awesome experience um, with these um, students who are between the ages of seven and eight. Um, today we did we arranged sentences and names of books into alphabetical order, and we did some reading in addition to subtraction. Um, we practiced the techniques, we, we explored different ways of um, doing the problems, and I think the students were on, they were on the ball, they were ready, and they were with me all the way. So it was an awesome experience. On behalf of all of us here at St. George's Primary. I want to say thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come here to walk in our shoes with us. Yes. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. It was an awesome walk. Yes. Okay, my name is Kiana Richards. Um, it was a good experience for me, a learning experience, because right now this is my field of study that I'm doing. My name is Drexan Gaetan and my daughter is Brieja Miller and for World Teachers Day which is today um, I had to teach the students mathematics which was counting blocks and also counting um, objects in their textbook and the experience was really good the, the students listened to me they respect me I had no issues I will actually do it again I am Shaki Mahabar and my my job of career actually is a senior compliance analyst at Harney's. Um, I actually decided to walk in the shoes of the kindergarten team teacher today because my son, Z. Collins, is actually a part of this class. So he actually made sure that I signed up for the role and I am here today to, to do such. The activity is antonyms. Anyone know what's an yeah. What's an antonym? What's that opposite meaning? Awesome. What's that opposite meaning? I 
I'm actually enjoying the experience. The kids are kids, but they're listening to me so far. And we're right now doing a lesson on antonyms. And I told them to be very quiet. And I had to tell them if they don't, they won't be able to go out for lunch. But so far, everything is going very well. And I am enjoying the experience, and I'm happy to give back to the St. George's Primary School. What's this say? Uh, My name is Mohammed Kadura. I'm Sharazad's father. Um, I was I came to help the teachers um, for just one hour. We appreciate their work so much, and I know it's very difficult taking care of all of our kids and uh, teaching them. And this is just a small uh, appreciation or token that we can um, give back to the teachers. And uh, St. George's, I realize that it's very clean, tidy, organized, and um, I'm very happy to be here. And I'm very happy for my kids to be here. Does everyone know what shape this is? in that we have to keep saying be very quiet multiple times and of course they're gonna complain when another student speaks but that is actually a part of, of this whole experience. So what would you change in your profession from what you did for I, I actually won't. <laughs> I was very nervous, but you know the kids welcomed me. They made me feel like, you know, I was their teacher, so I was, I was okay after a while. Actually, being a teacher isn't anything new. I'm a teacher myself, but I came because this was the first time I'm a teacher at the primary level. I teach at high school, so it was a good experience educating the younger ones. The younger ones are a bit more enthusiastic. They're raising their hands, teaching me. Sometimes the bigger ones, you have to beg them to. Um, I really thought this was a great initiative. I'm not sure how many parents signed up. I hope and maybe this is something they can do several times during the year and not just once a year because I think it's really good when parents especially understand what teachers go through and, it, and exactly like it says, to walk in their shoes. So I think it's an awesome initiative. Today we World Teachers Day and the parents are coming in to fit walk in our shoes. It makes me feel uh, that you're getting a sense of what we go through every day. Um, they're getting some experience what it's like and it's good to always exchange places from a parent to a teacher just to you know, get the experience. Um, well of course it's given them the first hand um, experience for being with the students in the actual classroom and actually um, you know with the frequent little things that you have to deal with at this office so they have a very good idea of what we do every day. Kudos to all the teachers out there. You're doing an amazing job. You know we entrust you with our kids on a daily basis. Um, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding because I know sometimes they can test you but I just want to say thank you and especially to the teachers for my son they call it. Thank you.